welcome to this video and if you're new welcome to my channel I know I look strange but today in this video we're going to try some new product that I have some of them I got from my beautiful friend Valerie I'm going to put her channel name down here so you can check her out go over subscribe to her channel she does some amazing videos some unbox haul videos review videos of different products she's an amazing girl I love her personality and she did send me a couple of products I'm going to try today and also I'm going to try a couple of other products that I got my glossy box last month November month my limited edition I also bought a new set of rose nine piece brush set from BH cosmetics I'm going to try today so I'm going to apply my makeup with these brushes I've never tried any brushes from BH Cosmetics, so I'm very excited. I thought, think they these look beautiful. And uh, yeah, I bought them for myself. If you want to see me apply makeup and what kind of products I'm talking about, please keep on watching. So I do have my foundation, my contour. I have my eyebrows, of course, I filled in. I already have my eyeshadow primer. So what I'm going to try right now is to apply my eyeshadows and today I'm going to use this Clinique plus Jonathan Adler eyeshadow palette that I got from Valerie I really like these colors I did uh, do some couple of swatches in uh, that unboxing video that I'm going to put link down below but I got these beautiful shades and I want to create a makeup look uh, let me see they almost all of them look kind of uh, matte except these two here look like satin finish and the last one looks black like some glittering uh, yeah so I'm definitely going to try to create a makeup look these shades are beautiful but they are a little bit too dark to have in my crease so I'm going to use this palette from Zueva caramel melange I think it's called but let's first I'm all over the place today. I, I pre-filmed a couple of videos today and yeah. So, so this is how the brushes look like. These are beautiful. So I'm going to take this number six taped blending brush. So I'm going to use that for my crease. And I'm going to take this Eva palette. And I'm going to take this universal shade here. very soft brushes you can't really see this shade on my eyelids but I like to take this shade always first just to have a, like a base in my crease before I go in with a darker shade I have very hooded eyes so I really need a shade that will make other shades over blend be better then I'll go into this shade here, start soft in my crease. You maybe hear my children playing in their room. They are very loud today, so I hope you don't mind. Then I'll go in this palette and I think I'm going to use um, this bla blue shade with the same brush I don't know how pigmented this is so I'm going to take this right into my crease and trying to blend it upwards very pigmented So I'm going to take this number five brush and it says here five is dense crease brush and I'm going to go into this shade here in my crease it is pigmented this is number seven precision crease brush and I think I'm going to take um, take this shade here that one is a little bit powdery I'm 
this shade didn't really want to show on my eyes maybe because I have these darker shades in my crease but I'm going to take this one instead with that same brush and go over on the same place it's much better if you pack it on so and then blend no fallouts and then I'm going to take this brush uh, the same brush and go in with this bl black shimmery black just a little bit to dark up the edges then I'm going to take this shade beauty cream color from uh, Bang Beauty that I got in my glossy box uh, and I've never tried anything from Bang Beauty so I'm very interested to see how this one will work now this shade you can use as a base or as base eyeshadow or on your lips or yeah whatever you want so today I'm going to use it all over my eyelid and I think I'm going to, to use my finger this is very intense If you move around too much, you're just going to move it around on the eye, so I don't know, it's kind of hard to apply on my eyelids because it is a little bit oily, or it feels a little bit oily. Uh, oh, I got some under my eyes, that's not good. I don't have, uh, I don't have a concealer under my eyes, so we'll see if we can fix that, okay. Uh, then I'm going to go in with the brush that I used for these darker shades here and try to blend a little bit and my crease brush that I used and blend blend a little bit in the crease with no shade go in again with this um, eyeshadow that I got from Valerie and I'm going to take this white shade with a detailed brush with this detailed brush oh this one is pigmented they are a little bit powdery but not more than the others that I have under my brows and I think I'm going to take this white with my finger and press in the center of this and see how this works then I'm going to take this TV Laurent uh, eyeliner that I got in my glossy box I can't really remember if I got it in my usual monthly glossy box or limited edition I'm not really sure but I'm going to apply uh, this So right now I'm going to remove the tape, I'm going to put the concealer on and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I did apply my concealer and I put some eyelashes on and I think they are big but I think they go very nice with this smoky look. And I got two mascaras from my friend Valerie, she sent me this ET superhero that I really want to try and also this troublemaker from Urban Decay. But I think today because I have eyelashes on I'm going to take this from Urban Decay and try this mascara. It went very nice on my eye eyes. Can't really see how my eyelashes look like, but I'm definitely going to use this again without but I'm going to put it on my lower lashes after using the palette again. So I'm going to take this palette again and I'm going to take another brush. I think I'm going to take this number 8. And that's, I have to read what it says here. Number a flat sh shadow brush. And I'm going to take this 
pressed shade here in this palette I really like this eyeshadow under my lower lash line because it's a little bit like a not shimmery but satin finish it looks nice and then I'm going to take this detail brush and go into this bl black in that shimmery black shade in that palette and then I'm going to take this Isadora uh, Perfect Cantor Kayal waterproof deep grey number 39 in my waterline and my concealer is starting to crease because I didn't set it and why I didn't do that is because I want to use this high pigmented color cosmetic air base palette cream blush palette that I got in my limited edition Christmas limited edition glossy box and I did try this shade once and I did like it and today I'm going to take um, I think this shade here with my finger and then I'm going to blend it with my beauty blender and this is so easy to blend I really really like there are some fallouts from my eyeshadows but we're going to clean that and they are very easy to blend with the fingers too I don't know if you can see but it gives a nice ni very nice color now I'm going to set my concealer with this Laura Mercier powder, translucent powder that I like I don't know if you can see but this blush is still coming through uh, even if we apply the powder so I really like that and this is the translucent powder but sometimes when I apply creamy blushes before I set my makeup when I use a powder it kind of disappears a little bit even if the powder is translucent the blush it's not intense as it was before but this I do like I'm going to take this palette again and take that white shade here, the second shade and put that a little bit more here that will open my eyes a little bit more because I have hooded eyes and this look turned out very smoky and I like it then I'm going to take this uh, Troublemaker from Urban Decay Mascara and put that on my lower lash line. It's a little bit big. Wow! I like how this separated my eyelashes. I'm really enjoying this mascara right now. It looks very nice on my lower lash line. I really like how this um, brush number three highlighter brush applied my highlighter it looks very nice on my skin and I'll, I applied a little bit of this uh, what is this called Bang Beauty cream uh, eyeshadow or eyeshadow base or cream product and I used it a little bit on my in the center of my lips and it's kind of hard to put on over a creamy lipstick so I think it would work better with a matte lipstick and the lipstick that is more drying this lipstick that I tried is very creamy uh, very creamy ink let's set everything So this is the final look with the product that I got from my friend and some new products from my glossy box 
and uh, lipstick that I purchased myself. I really like how this uh, look turned out. I'm very happy with all the products. I like eyeshadow palette and I'm definitely going to use it again. The only products that I really didn't like it's uh, this Bang Beauty creamy product that you can use as an eyeshadow, eyeshadow base, eyeshadow topper or lipstick product. And also this lipstick from Ink Rebuilable something. It's kind of, too, I like the shade, but it's a little bit too creamy. So I'm definitely going to use it, but maybe with more drying lipstick or over a matte lipstick and see how that will turn out. I'm very happy with the brushes that I got from uh, BH Cosmetics. I love them, they're very soft. Really like, I like the eyeliner. This was very easy to use, very easy to apply. I'm very happy with that. Air base, creamy blush palette, wonderful, so easy to blend, I love. And also the Urban Decay Troublemaker uh, mascara looks beautiful. I did use it on my, especially on my lower lash on. I love it. Um, didn't have a chance, chance to try this one that I got from Valerie, but I'm definitely going to use, try it in my other videos. And yeah, that was everything I had for you. Give a thumbs up if you like these kind of videos, if you want me to do more of these kind of review videos. Don't forget to subscribe and see you in my next video. Bye.